Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all all right. We're off to Felixstowe today, but not before we go to Costa and check out one of these new hot milkshakes. What is that all about? There's no reason it can't be hot because when you hear milkshake, like the word in, nowhere in that title does it say it's cold. So everyone assumes a milkshake is gonna be cold, but it doesn't have to, so they've got a good point. But I wanna know if they do a vegan one. So let's put them to the test and find out. Hello, what can I get for you? Can I get a, uh, a hot strawberry, uh, a hot white chocolate and strawberry milkshake, please? Yeah, anything else? Do you do it in a vegan at all? Do you do the, um, hot, the hot milkshakes in vegan? Pardon, sorry? Do you do the hot milkshakes vegan? Um, I could do it with a vegetarian alternative milk, yeah? Without milk? So I can have sauce, it does contain dairy. Um, I believe that the strawberry sauce does not. Chocolate and hazelnut. The chocolate sauce we use for that will take dairy. I'm really sorry, I'm struggling to hear you, so I don't want to make any mistakes. If you just come to the window. Oh man. It's too windy, clearly. To be honest with you, that that um, caramel one, I don't really think it would have been a lot of milk, so I probably could have got away with it. Thank you, that's great. So, yeah, darling, you forgot to ask for small. For These what? are quite big, aren't they? I think it's just how they come. Oh. They didn't ask me what size. Well, anyway, um, this is it. I can't see much of it, but I'm sure oh it'll God, taste it is, great. It is a milkshake. Is it really? Does it actually taste like hot. a milkshake? Very strange. Oh, wow, yours looks amazing. Almost hundreds of thousands of them. Well, it looks like an ice cream, that one. Mine doesn't taste that great. It's not very sweet. I'm not going to lie. to take my lid off and have a it's look. A bit like yeah, so I just made the mistake of taking my own lid off to have a little look and <laughs> I'm around the corner and it spilled everywhere. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's a good job we got some baby wipes in the car, innit? Actually, I just want to retract my statement. It isn't a milkshake. It's their version, you know, their cooler. Yeah. In the summer, it's okay. basically that. A warm cooler. Because if it was a milkshake, it would be with vanilla ice cream. Yeah. But it's not, it's just made with milk. So basically... And I know it sounds so stupid because the milkshakes it's, are made, but it's, it's basically a hot cooler. So they're creating a fad. So what you get in the summer, you know those cold ice drinks you get in the summer? So it's not really a milkshake as such as what we know. I don't know if I... I don't really... I'm not really keen. Yeah, I'm not. It's a bit weird. It's just, it just feels a bit wrong. Yeah, it's, it feels like a cooler that's just got very hot, like you mm. left it in the sun. <laughs> like one of those cold milk drinks in the summer, but you've left yeah. it in the heat and it's got really hot. And you're like, ugh. Mine's got a little bit of coffee in it, so. Um, it's my first, it'll probably be my last. It's not that they're not nice. It will be my last. It just tastes wrong. Yeah, I know, but I've never seen it busy in the winter here before. I'm really surprised. We've just bought Fun Peas a new stroller, the new Silver Cross Pop one. They come in like three different colours, but I was like, after getting the Silver Cross Click one, which was a beige and is now absolutely filthy, stained, can't get the stains off for love nor money, I thought I'd stick to black. Idea. Yeah. Hey. Whoa, that was a bit of a jump, Daddy. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's been on the beach loads. We've been on holiday, God knows how many times we've been. <laughs> oh. Don't you be getting his feet all wet, Daddy.
Oh, 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 it's getting a bit tough. Getting a bit tough with the sand. Ooh. Here we go. Whoa, I can get my knees. No time for a rest. Are you tired? Go on, bumps. Are you tired? No, you're not getting him in there. <laughs> the thing with the children, they get to a certain age and then they just do not want to get in their fish beds today. <laughs> That was kicking it like <laughs> you just spent this all this money on this push chair and you didn't want to go. I in know. It. See, um Bumps used to be amazing at going in the push chair, especially shopping, used to just sit there, yeah, embrace love it. it, love it. And now nah, he just wants to walk. Just like daddy, he likes to walk. <laughs> it's actually a really, really lovely day today. And it's really nice to get out and have a little bit of family time because it's been a bit of a difficult week as everybody knows so it's really nice to just come to Felixstowe. I didn't actually didn't really fancy coming to Felixstowe originally and it was Tim's you never idea. Do. Gabby does not like coming here. It's not that I don't like coming here I like it but sometimes I'm just not in the mood for the journey because you, it is an hour and a half from home and I sometimes just can't be bothered with it but now we're here, I'm really glad that we came out because I really felt like I needed this bit of family time and the fresh air. It's better than being cooped up, isn't it? So I was thinking, Felix though, they have a Greg's and Greg's is always a saviour for us because they do do vegan sausage rolls, which Bumps loves. So why don't we get Bumps a vegan sausage roll and then we'll head to the boardwalk and get a cup of coffee. What's your thoughts? Get up for it? Yeah, or we could um, go up to the other part, the other part, five cents. Is there anywhere we can get coffee there, though? Um, well, no, I'll tell you what, we'll get the coffee and then we'll head down to the other end of the park. To get coffee. Yeah, whatever you want to do. As long as we get some coffee from somewhere. Get coffee yeah, but we ain't going to want to sit in in Greg's, are we? It's the stones. There's, I don't know what's happened, but there's been like a lot of water situation at some point, creating all this stony, pebbly shingle this this, this to come up onto the boardwalk. Good, you know, with the other one, it would have freeze to. Oh, I don't know. I think every pram is struggling because no, I've seen people pulling. The wheels move at the front, so. They do on all our strollers, Tim. Okay. Yeah. I think everybody's strollers are struggling going through this shingle. Come on. Come on, puppies. You're really slowing us down. <laughs> Come on. Come on, pants. Yum, yum, yum. That sausage roll is almost as big as you. <laughs> <laughs> is it yummy? He's like, I've got my... He's, oh, he's holding it. That's a bit so, look everybody, look what I've got. <laughs> such a big sausage oh, roll. Oh, I love my sausage roll. This is such a big sausage roll. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Is it nice? I believe he's sitting on there, Gabby. <laughs> oh, yummy. Yummy. I know, he's a big boy now, Daddy. Those curls are out of control. That's fine, yes. Yeah. I am one for liking a bit of a view. <laughs> and I'm, t I'm not talking about those two, I'm talking about this view here. It's just so nice, isn't it? I think this might be one of the highest points in Felixstowe. You can actually see the boardwalk and over here you can see like, hang on, am I looking in the right place? The cranes. Oh, don't zoom in Tim, I haven't done my nails. <laughs> you can zoom in to, to what you're showing. Yeah, like there, that's where the cranes are. That oh, cranes. The port, isn't it? That's the port. the port. The port. And you can see the sea front. My finger looks so big. You can see the sea front going down there. Nice view. Yeah, it's 
keep them here. So wait for me, whatever you do. <laughs> Look at the sky, isn't that so beautiful? Do you know what? That sky is like a heaven kind of sky. I think that's the town hall down there. And I think that's where people get married. Because I'm sure I've seen people having their wedding pictures taken down here. Might be wrong. Might have just imagined that. <laughs> To the park. Keep your hat on, mister. Keep your hat on. <laughs> He's like, I'm waving the flag. Right, get it It's Sunday, and that can only mean one thing. Where are we going, Tim? To McDonald's for coffee. <laughs> no, we are going to do... Yeah, but you say we do that every Sunday. We haven't done it. We, we normally do it in the spring and the summer and the autumn. And we don't really do it too much in the winter just because the weather's always rubbish. But um, for my channel members, who support me and I know a lot of the people who still do love the seaside stuff I work it in with doing a live stream yeah so that's what we're doing <laughs> we are going to do a live walk around Yarmouth and um, I'm alright about it actually like you know I'm quite a lazy person in general but I've got my fitness watch you look good today I look rough as you know why that is don't you why? because I actually had 10 hours sleep last night good. and Sleep makes all the difference. You I've been walking around though. like a hag Look for months. My wrinkles, man. Yeah, it's sleep. I'll tell you, it's key. It's key to making you feel fresher in the face and everything. So, last night we had a really, really bad night with thumps. Um, well, you didn't have 10 hours sleep then? It was up loads. I did. My Well, my watch says I had 10 hours sleep, but I don't really believe my watch, well, unfortunately. You could have done though, darling, because he was up at one two half two three four half four five six so yeah so yeah i'm not sure i believe it because i think that when i'm like feeding thumbs my watch like classes that as a light sleep yeah. when actually i'm awake you're still, you're still, I'm still a bit I've got dozy on my phone and it's much better yeah really what does. i need i need a a bit more of a precise smartwatch. That's what I need. This isn't precise enough. But anyway, it says I went into REM twice last night, um, which is a deep sleep for all of those that are unsure what that means. And <clears throat> anyway, it says I had 10 hours, which I didn't. But either way, Tim got up early this morning with Casper so that I could catch up. And I, I slept till like 11 o'clock half 11 and Tim brought a cup of tea up and said I think you better get up now sweetheart it's half past 11 and I was like oh my god so you know that is a bit of a knock-on effect and because I know I'm not going to want to get to bed tonight now yeah the problem is is like come nine o'clock I'm like oh I want to go to bed and you're like oh let's watch a film and I'm like yeah and then Holly's yeah. Holly don't go to bed till like two in the morning so she'll be like all up chatty 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 to you and then I won't be able to sleep yeah it time. is a knock-on effect it's not <laughs> great so um we do we need to sort it out really but we say that every single night and because i work nights at weekends which i actually had the weekend off which was really nice hence why we went to felix Stowe yesterday but usually i work weekends so the sleep pattern is all over the place and then tim travels so his is all over the place 
Casper's is all over the place anyway, even though he goes to bed similar time every night. So his routine doesn't really change, but he's just a baby and he, you know, he just gets up a lot. And uh, yeah, so here we go. So anyway, we're now gonna go and get ready to do the live from Yarmouth. We've got Bumps in the back. Uh, look at him. He looks moody today. <laughs> why are you moody? moody? I know why you're moody. You're moody because you're tired. He's and the reason out. you're tired is because you kept us awake last night, mister. Yeah, he's tired. He's only now. So we've got Casper in the back. I've got to get a coffee because although I might look and feel a bit fresher today, I still need my caffeine intake. And then we're going to go and um, get some steps in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do you know any songs for let, like getting ready to go? I do. I've got one. Do you know any songs? For what? Like getting ready to go somewhere. Like, here we go, here we go. Like, here we go, here we go, here we go. But not that one. Any other kind of songs? Not off the top of my head, darling, no. I do. Let's get ready, ready, let's get ready, ready, let's get ready to rumble. That's the only one I can think of at the moment. <sighs> I'll pull up, you can go run into uh, Starbucks. Starbucks? Yeah. Starbucks? Why, yeah. Market Gates? Yeah. It's a bit of a mission going all the way it's into not really Starbucks. It's a mission, is it? Because we're going to be in town anyway, so you can just go out. Oh, you're going to park up and I'm going to go get the coffees and meet you, is that what you're saying? You're not going to meet me, no. I'm just gonna wait and then we'll turn around and drive up the other way. No? Wouldn't it be easier to pull in at KFC and get a McDonald's rather than... I hate McDonald's coffee. I'm not a big fan of it anymore. All right, okay. Just preparing for the live and we've just been walking around in circles trying to find a place that's got a flat surface to put, to put the camera on. And what's this? Tell, tell everyone what this is. Microphone for you. So you can hear me loud and proud. No swearing then. Um, yes, yeah, so we've just like done a loop around the marketplace and we've found a bin. That's the best we've got, a bin. Because we haven't to avoid the wind. We need a flat surface and we need to avoid the wind. So this is it. This bin that's just full of like fag ash. Well, I've got fag ash all over the top. And then, um, yeah, and um, bird, well, bird mess, to be honest. It's a waiting game now. We forgot Casper's gloves, so he's wearing mine again. That keeps happening. Well, it's just that he has gloves and then every time we take his gloves out with us, he loses one and then we've only got like one. So we either forget them or he loses one. So in fact, he's even lost the other one of mine. So we've only got one. You've only got one glove on. That's all I have. I just keep going missing. If, um, if you are watching this back on replay, Dan Coys um, has been a channel member for two months, so wow. Um, afternoon, really enjoying your videos. Looking forward to your travels in 2024. Oh, thank you so, so much. Steve Newton has been a channel member for 26 months and says, good afternoon to McGabby from a wet Chesterfield. Oh, we've got Spy Ooh, right in the chat. Are staying at an adults only holiday park. That was the day before, wasn't it? Oh, what day is it? It's oh, Sunday, I that's keep Friday. It's Saturday. Oh my God, I totally lost track of the days. Um, let's do some shout outs, shall we, Tim? Well, we were supposed well, to be in Blackpool today, we actually. We spontaneously went yesterday, didn't we? But we we didn't. Um, but we were supposed to, but because the Pleasure Beach is closed at the yeah. moment, we thought we'd just hang off. And we first went to Pleasure Hills with all what's the family. With the, what's with the Super Mario Brothers everywhere? I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Not sure about that. A bit confusing. Um, so we're looking over Central Beach in the distance. You've got um, another pier over the Wellington Pier, which we'll walk up to. That's just oh. unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> so you went through this period of when every did a live walk, uh, Gabby would um, disappear. I'm about to. As soon as no. get to the public toilets, no. I'm going to disappear. That's you. You see, we're talking about embarrassing moments. There was one right there. <laughs> Can you believe we've only been live for half an hour? It feels longer. 
So that's because we were there half an hour trying to sort the start out. Love you guys. Hey, there's a new nightclub in Great Yarmouth, Gabby. We'll have to go and um, check out when we. Oh, is that a new nightclub? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think we're too old for nightclubs now. You think? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to. We're getting on a bit now. Do you know what? It's really depressing that you say that, but because we're full. Well, I'm 45 now. Does that mean I can't go to a nightclub yep. anymore? You can't go. So I've uh, been sent this little gift from a livery. And they basically like specialise in kimono robes and loungewear and other stuff along those lines. Well, that's a nice little thank you. They put a little thank you slip in there. That's really nice. This is packaged so nice. I don't want to spoil the packaging. I love it when it's done with care like this. You know it's a good brand when they package things up this nicely. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. That is such a nice colour. That's perfect for Valentine's. I love the attention to detail. It's so silky. I love this. I love the birds, roses. The link to this item is in the description of this video. You can get 20% off with code Gabby. That's Gabby with capital letters. And the website is aliverylife.com. Right, I'm going to go and show Tim, see what he thinks. What do you think of my new robe? Very nice. Do you know what? I really love this bit on the back. Like the writing. Different. Perfect for Valentine's Day, would you not say? Not that I'm going to probably wear this on Valentine's Day for any raunchy moment, but I just think it's really well, like a nice present for Valentine's Day. Don't you think? Um, for anyone who'd be interested in it. Feel it. Marked out of 10 for the feel. Silky. Yeah, I really love it. And Asian you know what? Vibe. I think I bought this. I think I got this the best time of the year because now not only is it perfect for Valentine's, but because it's light, it's great to take me through spring and summer. So it's great to slip on, isn't it, as you get out of the bath or if you're just pottering around doing your makeup and stuff like that. Perfect. Love it. Bumps, do you love Elmo? A dream. The card wheel? Oh, and which wheel comes next? This one? No. no. Was really great. Oh, did you get it? We got it great. Right, that's wonder. Even more. Oh, does Mr. Noodle use wheels? Oh, yes, yes. Remember, Elmo loves you. Happy, happy dance, dance. When you learn something new, you do the happy dance, dance. Go on, puppies. Rewind it. You ready? Happy, happy dance, dance, happy, happy dance, dance. When you do the Elmo slide, you do the happy dance, dance. Come on, puppies. That's it. You got this. Happy, happy dance, dance. You do the happy dance, dance. Yay, that's it. You got this!
God, you're beautiful. Too beautiful. So it's time to just sit back, relax, and watch a little bit of Love Island. And I'm absolutely loving it at the moment because the SHIT has just hit the fan. <laughs> and I'm sitting here loving all the action. Anyway, yeah, it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. Tim, are you looking forward to Love Island tonight? Loving it. <laughs> he loves it too. <laughs> We're admitting it. We love it. Anyway, I do hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have enjoyed it, and I've got to make this quick because the adverts are nearly finished, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the subscribe button already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can see more vlogs like this. Oh my God, it's coming back on now. I've got to go. See ya. See you next time. Bye. You sad, eh?